He's the best of the best. He's a surgeon <laughs> and a lawyer. I'm in. Okay. Hi, we're the K3. I'm Jen. I'm Marissa and you. Thank you for taking a K-drama coffee break with us. This week, we are talking on our actor series about Soji Sub, our first K-drama crush. He's the OG. Right? Yeah, he is. Like, he just did. He <laughs> just is. <laughs> like, and if you guys have been following us at all, you know that that he's the reason that Marisa and I know each other. That's right. <laughs> That's why the K3 exists. That's right. There were three friends, Marisa, myself, and Karen, if you guys remember, if you're back from the beginning. Uh, we all met because we love talking about Soji Sub and K-Drama. <laughs> yes, we just stumbled into this exactly. conversation. And next thing you know, Jen's like, let's start a channel. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> right. So, yeah, so we have a lot of love for Soji Sub. We do. Thank you, Soji Sub, for bringing us together. Thank you. Uh, so what we do in our actress series, we always are like, what? when did you first notice them, right? So what was your first experience with well, Soji Sub? He, my first experience oh, first. With Soji Sub. <laughs> They're also visceral. <laughs> it felt real. It did. Of course. Um, no, he was at the beginning of my K-drama watching. So <gasps> my first K-drama was Descendants of the Sun. Same. And my first K-drama crush was Sung Jun ki who I still love to this day. But I will say that, you know, despite the military man of action, there's a boyish charm to him. Oh, absolutely. And then the first time I saw Soji Sub... I was like, oh, he's all man. <laughs> oh, right? Yeah. And was that Master's son? I think it was. Yeah. I think I fell down a Soji sub rabbit hole pretty quick. <gasps> oh. So um, I'm not quite sure. I think I, but I, I'm pretty sure because was it on Vicky or Drama Fever or Netflix? It was on Netflix. Was it? I think it was because once I watched Descendants of the Sun, it kept popping up and I'm like, okay, I guess I'll watch this. Interesting. I don't remember where I watched it. Oh, maybe it was yeah. Netflix. Regardless, I, that was my first Soji sub as well. Yeah. But I was confused when I turned so that on. Confused. <laughs> like, I didn't know what was happening. It was also at the beginning of my journey where I realized that not all of them are on Netflix, like, just a full binge. Like, you oh, can yeah. watch them live. Mm -hmm. And so this one was a bingeable one. But I was, like, going through so many at the time and juggling so many because I was just I was just consuming yeah. so much K-drama. Yeah. But when I hit... Master Son, like everything came to a screeching halt. And I just binged the crap out of it. Because of the ghosts? I think ghosts got me in. Yeah. And because at first I hated Soji Sub's character. Well, yeah. I hated the Chebol character trope was new to us. So new. Yeah. Um, and Gong Hyo Jin was not right. familiar with her. So I, I the first episode, I was like, she's so why is she so scared? I'm a ghost, my God. She's so scared, and he's such a jerk. And what's with the cravats? Right. And I <laughs> the cravats. The cravats were like. Mm, that's an interesting choice. Yeah. choice. But yeah. then slowly, slowly. Honestly, a drama where So and Gook is the right? second male lead. In retrospect, right? Hello. Yeah. Though that relationship was super problematic for me. That second, that second, <laughs> second couple. Like she was just, she was toxic and uh, assaulty. Yes. We'll just say that. We'll just say that. Like, wow, that was terrifying. <laughs> so, oh, but yeah. But the Master Son, that's 2013, which kind of bumps right up to where I stop watching because of oh. certain things that occur in them that I don't enjoy. Um 2013. Right. Hmm. So that's that's a while ago. It's almost 10 years old. Well, but we started watching in 2016. We did, so, so it, was it was already three yeah. years old by the time we watched that. Yeah. Just not that old, but no. Boy, things have changed. So Thank God. Oh, my God. Right? Yeah. So there's something about him that I don't think he's classically good looking, but he's still a male lead. Oh, yeah. He's very strong and manly and yeah. tall. And I think he's tall. got this amazing screen presence. He, I was going to say, his screen presence is almost unmatched. Like, I agree. Yeah. I think it's that Scorpio. Ooh. We always talk about that all the time. Oh, but that Scorpio element. Oof. Nice. There is something about that that you cannot tear your eyes away from. It. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's how we both first met him. Mm -hmm. What <laughs> so we met? We, we met him. We met him personally. Um. So, but that is how we met him as an actor, right? And so we went down the rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. I found that once I went down his the rabbit hole of his stuff. I had a really difficult time finishing another drama. I think that I tried a lot of them. Yeah. Cain and Abel. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, going all the way back to 2004, but his big claim to fame is what happened in Bali. Bali yeah, right? I tried that one too. It was just too old. And the industry just 
technologically, storytelling wise, just hadn't come into its own yet. Right. And yet somehow he broke out and was this huge star. Right. But yeah, I couldn't watch it. I think the next one I actually finished was Oh My Venus. Same. So Oh My Venus. I, my fear is that I've went, if I went back and rewatched it now, it would be really tropey and kind of problematic. I remember having some problems with it to begin with. I thought the chemistry between Soji Sub and Shimina was mm-hmm. great. But there were some moments that I was like, ooh. You mean the fat suit? That they put well, her in? That suit was one. Mm-hmm. And then there was a moment when they were getting together and he was, because he was training her, he's like, he made some comment about her body being his. And it was just really <gasps> kind of, I, I literally ended up on, I literally ended up on Google, like trying to figure out if I'd gotten a bad translation on it. Oh, yeah. So there yeah. was like moments like that, that I was just kind of like, and then the whole, I mean, listen, the whole ending where he disappeared for over a year <laughs> to knit. <laughs> And didn't talk to her the entire time. Yes. Like, yeah, it's no transatlantic communication. I mean, it, <laughs> with the most technologically yeah. advanced country. On I the mean, planet. it was 2015. Oh, so, oh, yeah. Uh, but but it, there was so much to actually enjoy that it was that I finished it and I enjoyed it. But mm-hmm. there was, yeah, they were all living in the house with yeah. Sun Hoon and Henry, yeah. and there was that fun stuff, and she was a capable lawyer. Yeah. So, yeah. It was a lot to really enjoy. Honestly, his dramas have not really wowed me. Do you remember how excited we were about Terrius? The honey? Yes. Oh, man, we were anticipating that big time. And we ended up liking the Ajima crew more than we liked him. It was... I didn't get very far into it. I have to say, there's a lot of Soji sub dramas that I have not watched, because right. I find that his films are more interesting than his dramas. Oh, so why is it that Soji Sub is such a mainstay for us? Like, why do we follow him? And regardless, even if we don't finish it, we always, always are jumping on it. Does it go back to the Scorpio energy of his? I think so. And also he is a huge star. I mean, we right. totally recognize that. And, you know, the movies are good. The movies are really good. The movies are really good. Well, Be With You was, it was so good. Be With You was and Always. And Always. <gasps> oh! Always was so good. Always. I remember the first time I watched it, then I watched it again. It was so good. So good. He plays this boxer tr- with a tragic backstory <laughs> and down on his luck, who meets the blind Han Hyo Joo. <laughs> oh my God. Who oh, was yeah. so lovely. Oh my God. And so then they had the moment when, oh my God. Oh, I, 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 and the dog. And, and the, the dog. And the like, <laughs> replace the, the thing and then oh god with uh, jingu as the uh her friend who, who owned the pottery place i love jingu <laughs> so much <laughs> so much yeah so i mean always i think is probably my favorite movie of yeah mm-hmm. battle battleship island oh it was intense, intense and i enjoyed it overall worthwhile but ooh, yeah, yeah it was intense but yeah it wasn't really a star turn for him so don't i wouldn't watch it just for him Mm-mm. uh but then be with you. And then be he's got the you. one coming up. Alien and people. Oh, my God. Okay. Yes. Aliens and people. And so yes. sub. I'm so in. The K3 is Jen, Marisa, and you. You are part of this K-drama community. And our podcast and our live chats on YouTube are supported by members like you. Check out our memberships and you can support us for as little as $3 a month or more. And each tier gets you access to great K-drama perks like a calendar every month with premieres and finales, watch parties with some of your closest K-drama BFFs, private Zoom chats where we can squee and quibble all we want and it'll stay private in that room and a little bit more and you might even get some k-drama goodies so go to ko-fi.com that's ko-fi.com slash the k3 click on memberships and support the k-drama coffee break it's interesting because like his best friend is sung sung ho right Right. And I will watch almost all of his dramas. And I don't even know if I've caught any of his movies. Oh, really? And so I just find it really interesting. Like, Soji Sub is a movie guy. You have not seen, oh, what is that? Song Sung Ho NC-17 rated <gasps> Oh, movie. I think I do have it. I think I do have it on my in my queue. I think I do. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> it's on Vicky. But I love that they're like best friends, right? Yeah. And yeah. like, they started together. But like, it's interesting. Like, as far as dramas go, mm-hmm. I've enjoyed more of his dramas. But I can't not watch Soji Sub. It's weird. Yeah. So um, we will always try. <laughs> always. Always. <laughs> With what he's got coming up, he's got Dr. Lawyer coming up. He does have Dr. Lawyer coming up. He's the best of the best. He's a surgeon <laughs> and a lawyer. I'm in. Okay. That's great. 
That's my favorite trope ever. It happens all the time. It does. I'm it a does. genius in two very highly complex categories. Uh, uh, but I am actually looking forward to this one. Who is yeah. who is his co-star? Oh, M. Soo Young. M. Soo Young is in it. Yeah. I think I think I could be on board. Oh, we got uh, Shin Sun Rock. That's right. So the, and cast, also, the cast is, yeah. Um, who's the second female lead? Uh, it looks like E. Jobin. Yeah, yeah. Our girl, uh, one of the girls from... One of the women, the fourth woman from Be Melodramatic. Oh, yeah. This lineup is better than some of the other lineups. It's a very good cast. Yeah. We also have our evil E. E. Kyung Young. Yeah, he yes. always, yeah, he's always evil. Wouldn't that be surprised if he wasn't coming off of Again My Life? Right. That would be worthwhile. Mm-hmm. Um, he's always typecast, though. <laughs> There's not so many Ajushi roles. Right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Dr. Lawyer, definitely looking forward at that one not sure how bombastic it's gonna be he's a doctor and a lawyer but <laughs> i just love that that's the title dr, dr. lawyer, lawyer. <laughs> what is this about he's a doctor and a lawyer go <laughs> okay i love that he got sued for malpractice so he's like great i quit doctoring i'm gonna go become a lawyer done I will take my own cases to court. Yeah. Well, I like him because he's, he has kind of, he's not a, he's not a big, loud person. No. He's a big man, but he's not loud and oh, he's he doesn't. very quiet. Yeah. So I kind of, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen because I, I think I enjoy him more in this kind of thing mm -hmm. than maybe One Sunny Day, which was a web drama, I guess, with Kim ji Won. Yeah. Yeah. When was that? You looked that up. That was a little older than I thought. That one's 2014. 20, oh, 2014. And I yeah. actually really enjoyed it, mm -hmm. except the age difference was so obvious. Like she, she, and I think she always plays older anyway. Mm -hmm. Like that's kind of her thing. And so it's not that it didn't work, but it was, it was, it was kind of, a, it, it was noticeable in that one. But the story itself, I really kind of enjoyed. Yeah. So he was 37 and she was 23 when they filmed it. Yeah, it was noticeable. That, yeah. It was noticeable. But it was on Jeju. Yeah. It was gorgeous. It was beautiful. It was so gorgeous. And I remember it was hard to find because it had yeah. been on Drama Fever and then it was gone. Right. And I remember just spending ages searching for it, like kind of desperate to watch it. Because I'm like, oh my God, Soji Sub and then Kim Ji Won from Descendants of the Sun. Right. I have to watch this. Must. Must watch that. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. I finished it. It was, you know, it was a mini Thing. It was kind of like almost an ad for Jeju Island. I pretty much so. is what it was. I think so. But it was it, it was enjoyable. I just it's really funny as we're doing this podcast. The more I'm like, I my my filmography of Soji sub watching is pretty light. Is but pretty I light. still would consider him one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> and I think okay, so we talked a bit about always, but really, be with you is like my oh. ultimate ultimate favorite Soji sub really? project. I think so. I don't know. I enjoyed Even it, more. but I think I enjoyed Always More. And you would think I would enjoy yeah. Be With You More because of the mystery, mystical aspects of it. Yeah. And also the comedy elements of it. I did like that. Like, I did yeah. enjoy it, but for some reason, viscerally, I enjoyed oh. Always More. Oh, well, that hit you in the Oof. heartstrings. Oof. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But Be With You was... Be With You. So charming. Sonia Jin was just... Again, another screen presence. Right. But it was funny and heartwarming. And the twist was, the couple of twists were really mm -hmm. good. And then the cameos in it. Uh, right. I loved it. I loved it. I would watch it again right now. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I just remember going into it that, because we had, by the time it came out in 2018, we'd spent a couple, we'd already kind of learned sort of the ropes of the K-drama setup and the movies and, you know, how they sometimes take a, hard left into tragedy. And so I think I spent, I think I watched it twice because I spent the whole first time like white knuckling it. Oh, no. <laughs> and then it was just going to be like, oh, this is bad. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. <laughs> and even though it was a very sweet like romance and it was lovely and that whole thing. I, that's why I was able to enjoy it a little bit more the second time. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you could really see, oh, that's how they did that. Right. Or there's the clue. Yeah. Or that, this really does make perfect sense. Right? Where the first time I was just like, ah, ah. Are we okay? Okay, we're okay. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I was I, I was a little high strung for the first time. Oh the my god. Viewing, but yeah. Oh god. The only thing with the second viewing is the impact of the cameos loses its luster. But right? still still, come on. Still. Fuck so, so June is your kid. Please. Still so good. That was amazing. Yeah. That was amazing. So what would you be your biggest recommendation if someone was just kind of they see that Soji Sub is back? Yeah. And uh they're excited about that. It looks like he's got two movies coming out in 2022 and mm -hmm. a drama. 
Holy cow. Yeah. He's going to be everywhere. He's been busy during the past couple of years. Right? And he got um, married. That's right. Um, for a K-drama recommendation, uh, I think I would go with The Master's Son. Yeah. Yeah. And then for a movie recommendation, I would go with Be With You. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. For sure, Master's Son, mm-hmm. I would start with Always and then move into Be With You. Oh, okay. Because I think if you master son it, uh-huh. the character to always is kind of adjacent. And then the softness of his be with you character is not quite as jarring. <laughs> you can ease into that be with you character. It's a three-course it's meal a three of three Soji Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the, 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 the douchey che ball down to like the downtrodden boxer to soft-hearted quiet yeah. man. Yes. <laughs> oh, comedy guy. Oh, that's why we love right. him. That's exactly. why we love him. Right? Yeah. He is, he's just, he's, he is really, really talented. I don't know if it's just the ch- projects he picks. Maybe it's just that, mm-hmm. I mean, there's a quirkiness to all the projects he picks yeah. that maybe sometimes just doesn't resonate. Is that what it is? Maybe, maybe. Mm. But when we love him, when we like him, we love him. Oh my gosh. When yeah. his project is good, like we are, it's, it's yeah. rabid, right? Yeah. Well, fingers crossed for, um, Dr. Lawyer. Dr. Lawyer. It's such a horrible title. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like romantic Dr. Teacher Kim. <laughs> It's like, wait, what is happening right now? Oh, uh, but yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed. And we will definitely be talking Dr. Lawyer on our live, uh, which we do every other week. So please join us there over on YouTube. And uh, yeah, do you have any final Soji sub thoughts? I'm glad he's back. I'm really looking forward to all these movies. I feel like we haven't seen him in a few years. Right. Yeah. And again, as you said, his movies are usually more enjoyable than his dramas. So we got two of them. Yes. It's exciting. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us for this actor series talking about Soji Sub. We get to gush for a little while about him. We're the K3. I'm Jen. I'm Marisa. And you, thank you so much for taking a K-drama coffee break with us. We'll see you at the next podcast or on our next live chat. Bye.